Hi friends! The coup NCD function is used to calculate the next coupon date after the settlement date. Let's go ahead and see how you can use the coup NCD function in Microsoft Excel. Open the desired Excel document. Here for demo purpose, we are using a worksheet according to the coup NCD function. The coup NCD function syntax has the following arguments. The security settlement date which is the date after the issue date when the security is traded to the buyer. The security's maturity date, which is the date when the security expires. The number of coupon payments per year. For annual payments, frequency equals 1. For semi-annual, frequency equals 2. For quarterly, frequency equals 4. The type of day count basis to be used. Please check the web URL given in the video description below this video for complete details, that is syntax and remarks. We are also showing the description of the function we're going to use here. Select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals coop ncd open parentheses select the cell that contains the settlement date comma select the cell that contains the maturity date comma Select the cell that contains the number of coupon payments per year, comma, select the cell that contains the type of day count basis to be used, close parentheses, and then press the enter key. It will show the result according to the description. If it is not in date format, then right click on the cell and then click on format cells. From the category list, select date. From the type list, Select the desired date type of your choice and then click on OK to get the result in date format. Wasn't that easy? Have a nice day! For more details, click on the eye icon on the top right of the video. Check out our iYogi channel for self-help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.